Bank in Mexico City. All these checks from Mexico? You see? How come? Did money originate there? Well, I doubt it started off as pesos. Uh, well, wait a minute, what's this one? Uh, what's, okay, $25,000, uh... Was, was that Dahl, Kenneth? Kenneth H. Dahlberg. Uh, we haven't been able to ascertain uh, who that is. Bob, listen, I think I got something. I don't know what it is. But somewhere in this world, there is a Kenneth H. Dahlberg, and we got to get to him before the New York Times does. Because I think they have the same information. You got a pencil? Write this down quick. Kenneth H. Dahlberg, D-A-H-L-B-E-R-G, Dahlberg. McGovern, who at first had voiced complete support for Eagleton, has more recently expressed doubts and said that Eagleton must make a decision whether to stay or leave the ticket. You're the one that wanted the articles on Dahlberg, Kenneth H. Dahlberg? Yeah. Couldn't find anything in the clip file at all. Oh, wonderful. Um, I did find one picture, though, if it's any help. Thanks. Yeah. Minnesota. being shot at. Have we got any of that? No. Why not? Why not what? Why has everyone else got this footage and not us? Well, I blame the general decline in journalistic standards. It's all this news is entertainment bollocks, isn't it? So patronizing. I hate that. Yeah, I hate that too. What about you, Jane? I actually think that what he did was very brave and most people respond to bravery. Ooh. They were just yards from the church when the sniper opened fire, and now the bride's mother is dead. Another innocent victim killed in cold blood. This is Jordan Flynn in Sarajevo. Thank you. Well, I'm not worthy of your applause, but I will take your money. Thank you. Oh, thank you. You'll be remembered. Thank you so much. Oh, well, look who's here, Henderson. And Greg, care to make a contribution? Sorry, I don't have anything small enough. I'm sure you do, but I was thinking about money. Oh. What do you think? Syndicated worldwide. Yes, your producers must be delighted. Delighted is exactly what they are. You hit I the nail on they the head. I you here in the hope you'd get yourself killed, and now it looks as if you will do. Well done. <laughs> oh, good one. Good night, Greg. We came here this evening to make another report on the Lubitsa Rivasich orphanage. When we arrived, the building next door was on fire after being hit by a mortar, and one room of the orphanage itself had been destroyed. <laughs> The Bosnian government has set itself against any kind of evacuation. From their point of view, the Serbs want the city empty. If they evacuate, we're helping the Serbs. Evacuation is actually collaboration. 
And that's a quote. I believe that it will take time to find a solution to the problem. Thus, we must have patience. It's extraordinary, is it not, that when there are children trapped in the most dangerous corner of the most dangerous city on Earth, that this plane is going to fly out of here completely empty. It would be a simple matter to move the children, but someone somewhere along the bureaucratic line is saying no. The forces of the Taliban government were rapidly overwhelmed. And with the end of the war, many journalists moved on. Danny and I stayed, reporting on nuclear weapons, Al-Qaeda, secret jihadi training camps, and the million refugees living in Peshawar, the birthplace of the Taliban. As the hunt for bin Laden continued in the mountains of Tora Bora, many fighters slipped back across the border into Pakistan, looking for a safe place to regroup. And many people in Pakistan saw America as the enemy and the Taliban as their Muslim brothers. By the end of January, I was five months pregnant and we were ready to go. But there was one more interview that Danny wanted. Danny, Kaleem Yusuf. Danny Perot. Nice to meet you. Yeah, you too. Please, come through. Would you care for some tea? I want to ask your advice about something. I'm supposed to meet tonight with um, Sheikh Jelani. Where are you supposed to meet him? At the village restaurant. Provided you meet him in a public uh, place, you should be all right. And just be careful. OK, I will. Good. You came here seeking the truth with your husband. Now you leave Pakistan as a widow after your husband was brutally murdered. What message do you have for the people of Pakistan? Danny was, uh, Danny was killed this, this month, um, but also 10 other people were killed by terrorists. And they were all Pakistani. So, so they are suffering as much as we are, right? Well, how do you address some Pakistanis who have sympathies for militant groups, such as those who killed your husband? Uh, Karachi is, is uh, in some way the, the, fr the front line uh, of this, uh, this battle. It is not uh, just a group of extremist Pakistani. Huh? It is a vast and international network of terrorists. And wherever there is misery, they find people. And there is misery, you know, in lots of parts of the world. Well, certainly that may be the case, but have you seen the videotape of what they did to your husband? How do you ask me? Phase two is underway. I have the videotape. I haven't seen it myself, but I'm told the footage is excellent. Plus, there were 17 survivors for your headlines. Good work, Stamper. Thank you. Don't let you know. Make sure you keep it in a safe place. Gentlemen. And ladies, hold the presses. This, Justin. By a curious quirk of fate, we have the perfect story with which to launch our satellite news network tonight. It seems a small crisis is brewing in the South China Seas. I want full newspaper coverage. I want magazine stories. I want books. I want films. I want TV. I want radio. I want us on the air 24 hours a day. This is our moment. And a billion people around this planet will watch it, hear it, and read about it from the Carver Media Group. There's no news like bad news.